Knives Out was written and directed by Joe Johnson, Sir Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, and a whole plethora of people. A absolute stat cast. And when a novelist ex dies on his 85th birthday, a detective, played by Daniel Craig, has to question his family and find out who truly killed him. I was super pumped for this film. I love the director, the cast, the premise. Everything was looking to this film being absolutely fantastic. And now that it's finally out, let's talk about it. Until I die. You think one of his family walls, walls. killed him. Is that what you're suggesting? Let it cry. This film is exactly fantastic as I wanted it to be. Basically, yes, I absolutely adored Knives Out. It's a film that is very weird, it's very quirky, has a lot of very weird moments, but I feel like it really adds to this film. The very weird and quirky nature to Knives Out is just kind of the the top the um kind of the icing on top of absolute a fantastic cake. But let's get talking a detail, shall we? Daniel Craig as the detective is a very weird, it's a very ambitious, it's a very quirky, very crazy performance. But overall, I did I dug it. It takes a little while to get used to. When do you first start hearing the the kind of the accent he has and the way Joan Johnson decided to make Craig act in this film? It's a bit jarring. It takes a while to get used to the way Craig is acting in this film. But once you once you get used to it, it's fantastic. It's very jarring, though, at first, when you're so used to seeing him as James Bond, a very serious, very dark, very disturbed character, and then he's, you see this very kind of bubbly, very kind of quirky professor. Chris Evans might be my favorite in the film. I love Daniel Craig, but Chris Evans easily bought the best laughs for me. He's a very hateable character at times, but then you kind of feel some sympathy for him, but then eventually, at the end of the film, not gonna spoil, you know, you feel uh, different about him. The rest of the cast, they're not in there as much as you think. You know, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is not in this film as much as you think. Um, there's a bunch of people that aren't in this film as much as you think. But it's because this is a absolute original movie. The writing by Joe Johnson, the writing here by Joe Johnson is absolutely spectacular. It doesn't even feel like writing at times. It just feels like characters giving talk dialogue and talking how they would normally talk. Because there's so many times where characters overlap characters, and somebody's talking, but then somebody else is talking, and it interrupts. And I was like, how do you even how do you even process to write this film? Because it's a very detailed and very it's a very talkative movie. It's a very it's a very dialogue heavy film, but it's not boring dialogue. It's very interesting. It's very I. It's very upbeat, and the way Joe Johnson directs this film makes this film from being very boring. It makes this film feel very entertaining, actually, and it makes this film feel a very light-hearted, but also sometimes very dark film. And that's what I loved so much about this film. It blends comedy with drama very, very well, and it doesn't feel jarring when it kind of goes to the comedy sequences, and then you kind of spend like 30 minutes of just comedy, but then it drives, it, then it turns into this much more darker, much more intense movie. It doesn't feel jarring by the way Joe Johnson decides to direct this film, which by the way, the direction here is absolutely stunning. The way the camera moves around some sequences was absolutely fantastic. It's a very quirky, very weird film, and I like about that. I like weird and quirky films. This this is such an original film, and even though I like some of the sequels and they were getting on like superhero films and like the Star Wars films, I really love when Hollywood decides to make an original film because they're all about the remakes, they're all about the sequels, they're all about the cash grab films. Now, when they decide to make an original film and when they decide to um, allow an original film to be made, it's pretty fantastic. And Knives Out is such an original film. Yes. It's is it technically not an original film by the genre? It's a who done it, but the way they decide, the way Joan Johnson and the cast and the creative teams and the producers decided to to structure this who done it was very fascinating. I like films that are isolated, take place in mostly one location, like Knives Out did. This is such an entertaining film to watch. I could easily watch this film so many times. It's a two hour and ten minute film, but it didn't feel like that. This is a such a fast paced film. It goes like by that. It's such a fast paced film. It's easily one of the fastest paced films of the year. The editing is also very weird because when you think a shot is going to end, it keeps on going. When you think a shot is going to 
keep on going it ends the editing in this film is absolutely superb to and the way it tells its story is very different to the way you normally tell a story in a whodunit it kind of tells things not really out of order but kind of out of order and at the very end when it's there's this of course exposition scene when you finally decide who actually did it. normally i don't like exposition dump sequences but the way they decided to do the exposition was absolutely fantastic there's one nitpick that i have of the film that kind of distorts this, just downgrades this film from not getting my highest grade which is an a plus and that's when you do find out who actually truly did it, which I loved the reveal, the way they did it. When you go back on, they do explain it, but when you go back and think about the rest of the film, you're like, that doesn't quite make sense. It kind of does. It s- mostly does. There's only, there's a couple things I was like, okay, that makes sense. But then thinking about it, I was like, it doesn't all make sense. Maybe on rewatches, I'll get it more, but... I, I'm so t- uh, tempted to give Knives Out an A+, plus because I love it so much. You know what? I don't care. Knives Out, for me, gets an A+. Plus. So those are my thoughts on Knives Out. Let me know what you guys thought of this film down in the comment section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Hate it? I'd love to know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, you guys can hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. Really does help out this channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, folks, in the next video. General out.